We, the American people, see the flag as a symbol of our national unity, both as a country and a people. Our flag tells of our struggle for independence, our union preserved, and the sacrifices of the brave men and women to whom the ideals and honor of this nation have been dearer than life. It's been the guiding star of our patriots, pioneers, explorers, and soldiers. It has interwoven its threads into the fabric of every chapter of our history. And while ours is the most recognized flag on earth, it has also been planted on the face of the moon and sent to the far reaches of the universe. This flag folding ceremony is a time honored tradition that symbolizes the noblest principles on which our country was founded. The portion of the flag that denotes honor is the Canton Field of Blue. Canton dresses from, from left to right and contains a symmetrical constellation of five pointed stars that represent the 50 states that forge our union. Her white stripes symbolize the purity of our nation's principles and the innocence of our children. They beckon us to ensure that our highest beliefs of liberty, honor, and country are carried forward from generation to generation. Her red stripes remind us that the foundation of our liberty is solidified by the blood of all the men and women who have died in the defense of it. In the armed forces of the United States, at the ceremony of retreat, the flag is lowered slowly, folded into a triangle, and kept under watch throughout the night, as a tribute to our nation's honored dead. The next morning, it is carried out, and at the ceremony of Reveille, hoisted aloft as a symbol of our belief in the resurrection of the body. Our flag is folded from the stripes to the stars, for whereas the stripes represent the 13 original colonies that founded our republic, they are now embodied in the 50 sovereign states symbolized by the stars that will cover the stripes. The first fold stands for liberty. In America, we are free to own property, to elect our government representative, to attend the church of our choice, to openly disagree, to travel freely without restriction, to pursue an education and the American dream. The white stripes of the flag symbolize our liberty. The second fold represents unity. Abraham Lincoln stated that a house divided against itself cannot stand. National unity in the face of natural disasters and external threats, such as those posed on September 11, 2001, has preserved our constitutional republic. The third fold stands for justice. In America, we believe that every person stands equal before the law and is deserving of just and fair treatment. The worker and the lawyer are both entitled to justice in America. The blue of the flag embodies justice. The fourth fold symbolizes perseverance. To persevere means to endure, to remain steadfast despite severe hardship and obstacles. The Continental Army suffered repeated setbacks before claiming any significant victory. Yet throughout the brutal winter of 1777 at Valley Forge, they persevered. The fifth fold represents hardness. Hardness is the ability to withstand difficulty while remaining resolute despite adversity. The aggressors in World War II underestimated American hardness. They thought that the Americans were soft, incapable, and unwilling to endure hardship. Our soldiers and sailors, such as those who fought at Normandy and in Korea proved them wrong. The sixth fold stands for valor. Valor means courage, the act of defending what is right even in the face of opposition. Nathan Hale, the Revolutionary War Patriot, was convicted of spying by the British in 1776. Before he was hung, Hale displayed great valor with his words, I only regret that I have but one life to give for my country. The red color in the flag represents valor symbolic of the blood shed by all the American heroes who sacrificed for our freedom. The seventh fold symbolizes purity. A pure nation is free from taint, from what weakens, pollutes, or renders it ineffective. Our founding fathers illuminated freedom's path for us when they created the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. The pure intent of these documents enabled the United States of America to become the greatest of all nations, a land of liberty which beckons to all who are seeking asylum from persecution and oppression. The eighth represents innocence. Innocence implies that one is unacquainted with evil and is thus free from sin. 
George Washington once stated, The love of my country will be the ruling influence of my conduct. Americans pay tribute to him and to all those who gave devoted services to uphold the freedom's ideals without selfish or evil motivation. The ninth fold signifies sacrifice. To sacrifice is to give something valued for an ideal, belief, or, or goal. America exists today because of the sacrifice of countless Americans. Many have made the ultimate sacrifice of their lives in battles waged during the Revolution, the World Wars in Korea, Vietnam, the Gulf War, Afghanistan, and other locations around the world. We pay tribute to them and to the firefighters, policemen, soup kitchen volunteers, members of our armed forces, and numerous others who continue to sacrifice for freedom. The tenth fold stands for honor. One who possesses honor possesses a keen sense of ethical conduct. To honor a person or ideal is to display respect for them. We give thanks for all who have acted with honor in the founding and growth of America. We pray that each citizen and all those who represent us in government will conduct themselves in a manner that will continue to bring honor to our nation and to our flag. The eleventh fold symbolizes independence. Independence is a state of being free, of being able to make unrestricted choices with no law as free individuals and as a free nation. Ever since our nation's birth, Americans have fiercely defended their independence against all oppressors. Patrick Hendricks articulated the sentiments of his fellow Americans past, present, and future when he uttered those fam famous words, Give me liberty or give me death. America stands an icon of freedom and independence for the oppressed of the world. May it always, always remain so. The twelfth fold represents truth. Truth is the body of real events and facts. It is preserved through the adherence of reality and the avoidance of falsehood. America was built upon God-given truths articulated in the Declaration of Independence, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Adherence to these truths has made America a great, great nation. We pledge to continue this noble legacy of truth so that in America, every man, woman, and child may forever be free. The thirteenth and final fold symbolizes the thirteen stars, thirteen stripes, thirteen arrows, thirteen olives, and thirteen leaves embodied in the great seal of the United States of America. It reminds us of the thirteen letters that comprise our first national motto, E Pluribus Unum, meaning that out of many, there is one. More commonly, however, it serves to remind us of the struggle and sacrifice faced by our nation's original 13 colonies. When the flag is completely folded, the stars are upmost, reminding us of our national motto, In God We Trust. After the flag is completely folded and tucked it in, it takes on the appearance of a cocked hat ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones, who were followed by their comrades and shipmates in the armed forces of the United States, preserving for us the rights, privileges, and freedoms we enjoy today.